This is my 1983 Airstream 34 foot triple axle limited that unfortunately I'm putting up for sale. In the front, it has rock guards at the bottom on both sides, and it has rock guards for the glass on the curved windows and the metal window. We have 40 gallon propane tanks with a cover on them. They've been updated to the OPT, OPD valves. On either side of the propane tank here, we have battery compartments. It will need batteries, unfortunately. Let's come around to the other side here. Come back a little bit. As you can see, it has uh, zip D awnings all the way around. They're mostly functional. When I say mostly, some of the straps need to be, that hold them down, need to be redone or, or uh, re-sewed. When we get around the other side, you'll see there's one that's missing, but I have it in the compartment underneath. It was that way when I bought it. You'll see the uh, damage on the front, which was that way when I bought it in 2002. It, uh, I'm not sure what caused it. I was looking at a YouTube video recently about how to fix that, but I can't really get up on a ladder. By the way, that's why I'm selling it. I'm 60 years old now. I can't do the maintenance anymore. And I've got my memories out of it. I think it's time to turn it over to somebody else. Let them get their memories. All right. Okay. Here on the back. As you can see, we have a uh, rock guard on the back window. I was cleaning it earlier this week and broke one of the snaps, but I'll get some rivets and rivet that back on. On the back bumper, there's a little storage compartment under there, but the bottom of it has kind of rotted out. I had some lumber in there, but it's starting to rot out as well. As you can see over here, the back bumper, got part of it got ripped off pulling into my brother's house. He has a really steep driveway going down. I have the bumper in the little compartment there. If you find somebody who can do aluminum welding and weld it back on. All right. Let's come around to the side. Okay, this window on the back here is the window on the far left here that the awning is missing from. It's in the compartment down there below. That's the storage compartment down below there. You can access it from the bed as well inside when you lift the bed up. Now the bathroom window down here in the little sun spot is the water heater cover, five gallon water heater. I haven't fired it up since I've been back. I didn't want to put any water in it. I think I mentioned before that I don't want to have to buy a bunch of antifreeze to winterize it in case I don't get it sold this winter. That's the cover for the refrigerator there. The access to the back of it. It's a Dometic refrigerator. The tires. And as you see, we have three of them. Get an angle here where you can see the tread. They were on it when I bought it in 2002. I don't see a lot of weather cracks, and the tread has held up really well. But uh, knowing how old they are, I don't know if I would trust them for very long. We just pulled it a few miles over to my house from my brother's. Didn't seem to have any problems. We weren't sure if the if it had brakes or not. That's the Thing. Before anybody took it anywhere, we'd have to be best to pull the wheels off and check the brakes and check the bearings. The bearings haven't been packed probably since the mid 2000s. Now the step. 
the bracket for the step has rusted pretty bad. The step itself is okay, but it's one of those things that I can't really fix. So I just went and bought a step at the local home store. It works pretty well. All right, I'd show you some of the damage from the tornado. When you see the still pictures, you understand how this happened. The guy wire from the power pole that blew against uh, caused that little gash. This is near the rear bumper on the outside. And this is the main damage. You can actually see the impression over here, the round impression of where the electric meter at the house I was living in gouged into it. And it bent a runner. See down here a little bit. It bent a runner on the inside. They said in order to repair it back to new, they would actually have to drill out all the rivets on this side of the trailer. I had just bought it used, so I let them total it out, and I bought it back. Because uh, at that time, I think they said it was going to be about $15,000 in electric. Mind you, that was in 2002, $15,000 worth of repairs to get that done. But like I said, it hasn't affected the functionality of it in any, except that the kitchen cabinet counters moved in just a little bit. But like I said, we, we used it for many years after that. Okay, now I'm inside of it. Give you a little bit of a view of the interior. I'm shooting this with my iPhone, and I have an older iPhone, but without the super wide lens, so I'll have to move around a little bit. I can't get it all in in one one shot. I'm sitting on the couch, front couch in the living room right now, shooting back toward the kitchen, which has a dinette. The table folds down to make a bed. The little hinges it rests on aren't very strong, so we put a milk crate underneath it to use it. Uh, I've always intended to come up and adapt something else, but I never have. What I was started out the scene with was two skylight vents. They have uh, an aluminum lid on the vent uh, with uh, car polycarbonate lenses in them. Uh, the middle one, when I got back, moved back to town, found out that it had been broken and had been leaking a little bit. My family had put a trash can underneath it to catch most of the water. But since then, since Airstream doesn't make those anymore, I have, uh, my brother helped me get it off and I've replaced those polycarbonate lenses myself instead of buying a plastic replacement, which I didn't want to put in there. You'll see over here, we'll get close up to it a little bit. Uh, we have a, a dual sink, four burner stove with an oven. I mentioned that the counter was pushed out a little bit. Actually, the cabinet up above is pushed out a little bit too. You see that the light droops a little bit there. We have the air conditioner. The air conditioner, in, it really wasn't sufficient for this trailer. Um, and I had some problems with it on low. The, it wouldn't shut off at night, so you'd about freeze to death. And right now, since it's been sitting for 10 years, I tried to turn it on, and it doesn't seem like the fan wants to work, so it isn't working right now. You see a uh, blender over on the counter. I'll get close up to that in a minute. Uh, it actually has a built-in blender. Uh, the switch is broken on it, but I have a new switch. I'm going to try to get that replaced. All right, well, let's move on to some other parts of the trailer. Now I'm standing in the kitchen, shooting back toward the living room. You see that there's a uh, long couch on the side wall, and there's a little short couch on the back wall. The side couch, the, the top actually folds over to extend out and make a bed. The table there, you see is folded up halfway it actually the top panel folds out and it extends out all the way around too so there's plenty of seating in here when you want to eat you have the kitchen dinette and you have that table as well it comes out works out great when you want to play games and things plenty of plug-ins i forgot to mention back here in the kitchen 
these all the storage compartments you see overhead storage compartments uh, as well as the spice rack behind the stove back there and up here the accordion doors work fine in all those on the bottom side of the couch both on, on both couches those little panels fold down and there's little trays that slide out for storage underneath those as well in the corner section you have a as it let remind you folks this is an 83 travel driver you have an am fm radio and a cassette deck those stopped working years ago and where the lamp sits now is where i used to sit in my television i see a little light blinking over there behind the couch that reminds me that i put a charge wizard charger in it many years ago that's a lot more efficient than the airstream old airstream charger and doesn't buzz all night to help keep your batteries charged forgot to mention Let's here in the, the kitchen storage underneath the sink on the right of the faucet there was a uh, water filter system at one time i remnants of it are underneath the cabinet but i've never used it we have four drawers there we have an oven and underneath the oven there's a storage compartment and we have storage above the microwave here with a built-in microwave in case you do buy this uh, there's a little switch up underneath the, next to the range hood that switches the power from the air conditioner to the microwaves to make sure you don't use them both at the same time because this has 20 amp service the little drawer on the bottom there the little, little connector you see that's for the central vacuum the motor still works. The, the rest of the apparatus for it is in the long cabinet next to it. But unfortunately, they stopped making filters for those. Um, underneath the microwave, nice little pull-out shelf. Allow you to have a place to do more prep work while you're standing there cooking. That comes in handy. There's a little mini storage compartment above the refrigerator. And I forgot to mention the refrigerator. Refrigerator with a freezer. It's a Dometic refrigerator. It has a storage compartment underneath it as well. I turned it on. Let's open it up. should give you an idea how much room is in it. I turned it on on electricity recently. It seemed like it was working just fine. It has handy little compartments to keep your items in place so that they don't move around while you're traveling down the road. It has a freezer, a separate freezer as well. And uh, when I did turn it on recently with electricity, it seemed to work just fine. I haven't tried it with propane because I'm not even sure if I have any propane in my tank back there. So I'll have to stand back a little bit. But you see the two big doors there. That's an oak closet with cedar lined on the inside. It has two doors inside. It has a little shoe compartment back there to hold things storage above it as well i'll try to get another angle to show you how I you get show into you the bathroom door there's a sliding door with the mirror on it there that slides shut when you're in there i'll see how much i can get at the bathroom in a minute i mentioned vents um i forgot to mention that both of those vents up front have uh, motors with fans in them to vent out i also have a aftermarket fantastic vent back here in the back the difference being is that this one will automatically shut when it starts to rain and you can set a temperature and it'll automatically open and close as the trailer cools and heats up. I'll show you something here, a modification I made and I never did get it trimmed out. I'm a really big guy and I didn't fit in the toilet very well. So I actually cut part of the wall apart, put hinges on it so that I could fold that out when I was needed to be on the toilet. Um, between the closet doors and then they have little accordion doors here that, that pull out you can get some privacy if you have other people in the trailer that way it's obviously going to be able to get the whole bathroom in at once I'll have to pan around and do it in segments the toilet but it does has a removable shower head and you can see it has a little area you can sit it's kind of small but uh, as big as I am, I managed to get in and out just fine. Next to the big closet, big double door closet, there's also another small closet uh, with storage top and bottom. This thing has plenty of storage space. I'll turn around yeah, and we'll shoot the a wide angle lens. I can't get it all in at once, but as you can see, 
It has twin beds, little nightstand and dresser in between. Above each one of them has some storage compartments with the little accordion lids on them. If I can get this down low, below you can see there's also more storage compartments underneath each one of the beds. And then each one of the beds folds up and you can access the area behind the storage compartments as well. I came back and sat on the little dresser to try to give you what I can show you of the other side of the bedroom. Reading lights and on both beds there. A little shelf to put your things. And on each side of them, there's a little strip of insulated or foam fabric to help when you're sleeping in cold areas, you're not right up against the aluminum. And like I said, it's, it's an Airstream. I love it. Really hate to give it up. But I'd like to see somebody that's wanting to fix it up get it because it's going to need some work. Let's point over to this window. I think almost all the windows are going to need new seals. It is 40 years old now. Most of the windows are going to need new seals. There's all kinds of maintenance. Um, oh, as you can see. I would say that somebody were to buy this, the very first thing to do should take a look at the bearings and axles and probably replace the tires. And otherwise, and again, I'm not sure when we pulled it over here, we couldn't get the lights to work. We just had to pull it a short distance. But I uh, couldn't get the lights to work. And uh, you know, like I said, the brakes, I'm not sure, electric brakes, I'm not sure about those. So like I said, it's this isn't one that you just buy and go out and take camping. It's going to need some work. But the mice had made their home in here while I was gone. And uh, it looked really bad a month and a half or two months ago and I've got to where it looks well, okay now I did a rough cleaning um, whoever would get it uh, if you were just going to fix some of the things and try to use it you with somebody would need to do a fine cleaning with my help. like I said the trailer is not perfect um, it's about what you'd expect a 40 year old trailer to say I should actually I should say it's about what I would expect a 40 year old Airstream to be a 40 year old other brand travel trailer would be in pieces by now so so if you have any more questions contact me and hopefully i can give this to a give excuse me sell this to somebody who can get as good many good memories as me and my family had out of it Even though it pains me to let it go, it's time to move on. Hopefully somebody will see this and want to make it their new dream.